Hello and welcome to another video with AJ Labs. In this video we're going to look at how to set up a FortiGate firewall lab and when I say lab I mean essentially just setting up one firewall on VMware Workstation that you can then use to practice and learn your FortiGate uh, or enhance your FortiGate skills on. So let's go ahead and download the FortiGate VM so we can then import that into our VMware Workstation. So the first thing you need to do is go on to the support website for uh, Fortinet. As you can see, that's support.fortinet.com. And you're going to need to log in with an account. Now, if you don't have an account, it's fine. You can sign up. Once you've signed up and you get your email verification, then you're going to log in with that account. And once you've signed in, you can then go to uh, the download section. And once you're in the download section, you select your product. So in this case, I'm selecting FortiGate. There are a number of other products that we can test and use in a lab environment to see how they work or to learn them. So in our case, we will download FortiGate and then we're gonna choose the platform uh, in which we're gonna run our FortiGate firewall on. So as you can see, there are plenty of options. If you're using it at home, like myself, you're most likely going to be using Hyper-V which is the Microsoft Virtualization product, or uh, VMware. So I'm using VMware Workstation. Um, don't worry about the ESXi part. Um, this will actually work on VMware Workstation. So we're going to select ESXi. And then we're going to select the version we want to download, which is 7.2. That's the latest one. And once you do that, you want to download the OVF zip, which is uh, the zipped version of the VMware file. So you click on download. Once you've downloaded, it is fairly small. What you want to do is then go to the folder, or your downloads folder or wherever you download to, and you'll see the zipped file in that location. You want to right click on that. And then you want to let me go on to more options here because I'm using Windows 11 and it's, it doesn't show you all the options. You want to click on uh, if whatever extraction tool you have. I've got 7-zip. You can select extract all and I, I believe Windows will do that for you, but I'm using 7-zip and I just extract to this particular folder. So it creates a folder for me. Once I did that, it created this folder here and this folder is where we will have all of our files extracted to. So if we click into this, you'll see we've got the drives, the hard drives for the VM, as well as the um, OVF file. So the one we want to click on is FortiGate VM64. Right click on that. And then what you want to do is you want to open with VMware Workstation. So if you're using VMware Workstation like myself, that should open it automatically. Let me just do that. So I'll click on open. I need to bring my VMware Workstation window over. Actually, let me cancel this. So I'll bring over my VMware Workstation uh, folder sorry, my VMware Workstation application, not folder, and double click on that. So if I go back to the folder now, and I right click on this, and I say open, what you'll see is this uh, end user license agreement, accept the terms, click on next. We're gonna give it a name. So as you can see, I've already got a VM that I've already set up with my FortiGate, and I've called it FortiGate Firewall 1. So in this case, we're gonna call this FortiGate Firewall 2. The location, I don't want it to be on my C drive because um, that's going to take up a bit of space. So what I'm going to do is change that and I'll go to my six terabyte uh, H drive backups. I will go to my uh, VMs and I'll just save it there. So I'm just going to save it to my VMs folder and I've changed my location to D H drive backup VMs. You can save it to wherever you feel is convenient for yourself. Click on import. And then that will now import the virtual machine into our VMware Workstation. Now, if you don't have VMware Workstation, I do have another video on that. And you can check out that video where I take you through how to set up VMware Workstation and how to get it configured in a, in a way that can allow you to use it as a lab for uh, many, many virtual machines, whatever you want to learn, whether it's Microsoft or any other VMware products or Linux, ESXi, whatever it is you want to learn. In this case, we're using it for the FortiGate. Um, as you can see, it automatically comes with a lot of adapters, uh, 10 adapters to be precise. We want to, we're not going to use all of these adapters. So what we're going to do is we are going to go into our settings. In fact, let's go to the first adapter. And it's important that you get the first adapter uh, set up correctly. Now I'm natting it within my VMware workstation. 
And as I said, if you want to watch the video that I've created previously on how to set that up, you can do that. So once you get it natted, it essentially means it will use an IP address provided by your computer. Um, so I'm going to set the first adapter to NAT. And then I'll go to the second adapter. And I'm just going to choose custom network because I've got a number of other virtual LAN set up. And I'm going to choose VMNet1. As I said, don't worry about these. You don't really need to worry about these additional um, VLANs. This is just optional. You could actually just use one adapter, which is fine. But because I've got many adapters set up, and I do take uh, and I do uh, mention how to set this up in my previous uh, VMware Workstation video. Um, but for yourself, for this particular video, you don't really need to worry about these. But I'm just doing this to set up my own uh, connections. And then I'll go to number three, number four, and I'll say VMNet three. And I'll go to number five and I'll say, I believe it's VMNet four, right? And then all these other ones I don't need. Number six, so I'll just disconnect it, power on. Make sure it doesn't connect when we power on the virtual machine. Number eight, I don't need. Number nine, I don't need. And as I said, we really don't need all these connections um, unless you've got a, a big lab that you're going to set up with your VMware workstation. In my case, I'm just going to set up two firewalls and I've got some other virtual machines which I can then use to apply the firewall policies to and so forth and these other VLANs. So all of these different VLANs that I've got, I'm going to be using the firewall to then set up my policies, but it won't be in this video. This video is just to show you how to set up the FortiGate firewall on your VMware workstation and then just do the basic setup uh, and be able to connect to it, which will then allow you to do whatever other labs or sessions you want to do with your firewall. So let's now click on OK. That should then configure my firewall for me. So when I power on the firewall, it's automatically going to try and pick up an IP address from DHCP. So let me turn this on. Power and I'll say startup guest. That's just booting up. We'll give it a moment. Excellent. So we are now in business. Our FortiGate VM has powered up. It's giving us a host name and it's asking us to log in. So what we're going to do is the default login for these uh, virtual machines or for the virtual machine is admin. So you type in admin. It will ask you for a password. You just press enter. There is no password assigned. It will then force you to change your password. So you need to create your password. Don't worry if you don't see anything while you're typing because it is for security reasons. So you just type your password in, make sure you get it right, and then you press enter once you've confirmed it. And then now you're in. So first thing we need to do is configure the uh, port number one with an IP, a static IP address, because we don't want it to change every time um, it tries to pick it up from DHCP. So let's now configure that. So we're gonna type in configure, oh, configure system interface uh, configure system interface and press enter. We're then going to say edit. Oh, edit port one, which is the first port. And remember, port one in our settings was the first network port that I changed to NAT. So we'll press enter. Oh, let me. That might just take a moment. Where is it gone? Yep. So now we're in port one and we're going to say set mode static. If you want to see if there are any further commands, you can press the question mark. There aren't any further commands we can type, so we need to press enter. So what we've done there is we've set the, uh, the mode of the interface or the port to be static, which now means we can then assign an IP address. So we're going to say set uh, IP is it IP address? Yep, set IP. And we're going to say 192.168.220.150. Uh, Reason I'm choosing 151 is because my other VM, this one here, FortiGate Firewall 1, that is set to 150. So I'm choosing 151 for this particular um, firewall, firewall number 2. And then we need to put in the subnet mask, 255.255.255. .255 .255. That's not right. 255.0. Press enter. So now we've got that IP address set. What we're going to do is we're going to say uh, configure 
router uh, static oh no you see static and let's see if there are any other commands that we can put in from there so we press enter and then we'll say edit one so it's gonna allow us to enter a gateway uh, an IP address so we're gonna say uh, set uh, device port one so that's going to set the device port to one I'm going to say end let's see actually if we can say set uh, gateway there we are 192.168.220.2 now this is the default gateway for my natted IP address from my VMware workstation um, again don't worry if this is confusing you you will need to get I'll just show you where you will need to get that from so if you press enter that has now set the default gateway for our firewall which will allow it to then access the internet and uh, communicate with outside networks so once we do that effectively I think we should be done for the basic setup we then need to go to the web interface and log in on the web so there are two ways you can configure your router uh, router sorry there are two ways which you can configure your firewall one is the through the command line which was what we're doing which is quite tedious and there's a lot of commands to to memorize which which is also good to learn but the other way is through the web interface so let's see if we can actually access it let's go on to dc1 actually before we access that let me quickly show you where you will need to get these IP addresses from. So on your VMware workstation, you're going to have, um, if we go into, let's go into edit. So you write, so you go into edit and you go to virtual network editor. And this will show you your networks on your um, VMware workstation. As you can see, VMNet 1 through to 4, and then I've got VMNet 8. Now VMNet 8 is natted, right? And it's uh, it's got a subnet of 192.168.220.0 and as you can see this is the um, network that I'm using so you need to check on your VMware workstation what your IP addresses are and then choose an IP address from this range so as you remember I chose uh, 151 as you can see my default gateway is dot .2 um, let's have a look at here change settings I'll say yep See what this will give us. Oh no, we don't want to change that. So VMNAT eight. DHCP settings, NAT settings. Let's see the NAT settings. There you go. So there's my gateway. So if you want to find yours, you just click on it's, it will be VMNAT, uh, whichever one is NATed. You click on that adapter, and then you go to NAT settings, and it will tell you what your gateway is, right? So that's the gateway you're going to use for your firewall. And for the DHCP settings, that will tell you what IP addresses DHCP starts from and where it ends. So let's close that. OK, but again, all of this is in my previous VMware Workstation setup video. So now let's access the web interface. Where are we? So let's get a browser. Let's go to our DC1. Let's log in. Oh, that is the wrong password. I need to put in my super secure password. There we go. So now that we're logged in, we are going to let's just get rid of this. Get rid of this. Close this. And open up our browser. So what we're going to do is log into our firewall for the first time through uh, the web interface. So 192.168. Dot two two zero dot one five one, right? Press enter, and as you can see now, I'm at the login page for my firewall, and I can then log in with the admin account and the password that I created when it forced me to reset. Click enter. We won't save it, and it's now asking us to complete the setup. As you can see, we've already changed our password, and it's saying you've upgraded the firmware because I think we're on the latest version of the OS, so it's fine with that so we need to change the host name and we need to set up our dashboard so let's say begin now for the host name i'm just going to give it 
similar name to the other one, so FortiGate dash firewall two. I will click on OK. And then for the dashboard, it says, do you want to use the optimal or the comprehensive? Now, um, let's just look at the comprehensive. I think the optimal is, uh, I guess, uh, a smaller version of less, has less features, whereas the comprehensive has more. So let's go with comprehensive and we'll just say OK. And as soon as we get to the dashboard, the first thing 40, the 40 OS presents us with is the a short video. I think it's trying to access it. This is basically a video of what's what, what's new or what features are new within uh, 40 OS 7.2. So we'll just click on OK. We won't play it. I mean, you can watch it. It's quite useful, but I'm going to click on OK. And then there you go. You are now officially in your FortiGate firewall and you can then start using it and practicing your FortiGate skills and learning all about the FortiGate firewall. You, one thing you'll notice is the host name hasn't changed. That's because we need to reboot the firewall. Once we reboot it, this um, host name will change. Um, so if we look at, let's have a quick look at, uh, in fact, let's quickly just look at the dashboard. It's got the system information. As you can see, the name, serial number, firmware version, etc. cetera, um, licenses. It's obviously a virtual machine. It tells us how much RAM we have, the allocated RAM. CPU and the usage, you can see your sessions, you can see the memory usage or the RAM usage. Um, and then from there you can go into things like your um, policies, firewall policies, and it will show you what policies you have. Obviously this is a fresh setup so it won't have anything other than a deny, an implicit deny which is basically denying everything. And this is where you'll obviously practice your uh, policy settings and so forth. So. That is how you set up your FortiGate virtual machine uh, for your FortiGate firewall and log into it and view the um, web interface. Hopefully you've enjoyed this session. Uh, if you're new to the channel, then please do uh, subscribe and also hit that like button and please share with uh, other people. I look forward to seeing you in the next session and thank you for viewing.